Hello everyone, I'm live, back again. This time around with the uh, FNJ Rally Series. Uh, season under rally, a one-off event. And uh, yeah, hello to everyone, and uh, sorry if I didn't answer uh, someone before, because I just popped up the chat before. So first message I'm seeing is the one from Keeb. So no, I'm not trying to ignore anyone ahead of him but I'm just not seeing the messages if there are any and uh, thanks I put some effort into it and uh, hello to Sami as well and uh, there it is beautiful beautiful rally I think this is gonna be fun at least if it's gonna be better than Better than uh, what happened in uh, last time I run without place notes in the competitive ish rally. Hello, rally passion as well. And uh, yeah, in previous one, which was a uh, long beard or AD rally. I crashed on stage number four, which is the same stage that is included in this one as well. Uh, hello, Jasper. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's head on out and try to do our best. No, wait, this is not the car that I wanted to drive. I'm uh, not paying attention enough, it seems. Yeah. Hold on. Now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not, not in the best state of mind, it seems. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, what time I set is there? Maybe I, I, I should, uh, you know, sleep during the nights or something. Would help with cognitive abilities, I'd say. But yeah, let's, let's try again, shall we? 126, yeah. Yeah, now it is as it's supposed to be. Oh, beautiful. Now let's see if he's still... He's not muted, but he is now. Hello, Hello Henry. Cox, pigs, fire. The silence. I'm not having to listen to myself. Well, you guys need to listen to me, but I don't. Know the stage, but still without pace notes, it's completely different somehow. Still, there's a lack of trust. So yeah, I haven't driven the stage in ages, especially with this car. Well, actually, I've never driven this one, so uh, yeah, going a bit carefully, and that's more or less my motto for the first loop altogether. 
because uh, yeah, you can't really win the rally here, you can lose it here though. Some would say Halo level spa. <laughs> yeah. We are through. First edge done. Cautious, cautious as hell. And, uh. Hello, one, two, and, uh. Thanks, Fabs, for the good luck, which there's definitely going to be <coughs> good luck needed throughout this. Uh... This is run without pace notes, this rally. To as This is meant to be like an old RAC rally kind of deal. Uh, Therefore, we are not using uh, pace nuts either. Yeah, there's not much of choice really. Taking it easy through first one. Now we are heading for a bit trickier stage now. Because there is a uh, gravel as well, but we have tarmac tires on. Cox. Big. Fire. But I'm much more familiar with this stage, so here I at least tend to try a bit or dare to drive drive and try a bit more at least on the tarmac sections not that much on the gravel ones because those are tricky as hell It's really slippy, and uh, yeah, the car is not behaving like it normally would on gravel. I guess it's because this is, you know, gravel physics, uh, and those are different than tarmac stage physics. Like, I mean, the whole car somehow changes a bit here, so uh, yeah, the car didn't want to go straight at all. It's 
every now and then trying to escape and uh, especially on the braking and when we are going back on the throttle it's really eager to escape really really eager so we just need to take it cautiously through here as it's really hard to regain the car and uh, as well usually this car just kind of snaps here on gravel so it's really really tricky indeed but uh, yeah we are through the gravel section there which is the, definitely the hardest part of the stage now we're just enjoying the rest of the stage all 600 meters that are left of it If you've been by rear engine, that does it uh, understeer until it snaps into oversteer, then yeah, and wanting to rotate a lot all the time, yeah. I thought that I drove well, but apparently not. Getting whooped here, <laughs> but I have had fastest Fiat on the stage, so that's good. No major issues here, and uh, yeah, I think I'm being a bit too cautious on the gravel and on the stages in general. Just not enough trust in the car or in the visual driving without notes. So. Uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but yeah, this is a long, long rally. I like it how the tires haven't even worn. And uh, yeah, now we are in for a proper test. We have 5.1 kilometer stage with uh, mostly gravel, and uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a tricky, tricky one indeed. And I guess this is one of those stages where we lose a lot to the Trabants, which are a lot more like um, predictable to drive on these surfaces with the wrong tires. Feels surprisingly well. well it behaves surprisingly well here on this gravel compared to the, to the previous stage. And 
there's a lot more predictability in the car in here, it seems. <laughs> I've never felt that to be such a huge bump before. Never. Probably a lot more drivable than on the second leg when we have like dedicated gravel setups and gravel tires on the cars. It's, it's going to be a lot better. And what it is now, I'd like to believe. I thought that this stage would be worse than it is at the moment. Like worse in uh, in the gravel sections. It's surprisingly good to drive on the gravel here. definitely feel the power kicking in there <laughs> but yeah we're through three stages done seven to go good stuff good stuff uh, you were completely lost on stage two well there was onboard videos provided by the organizer aka this guy and fabs which could have told you where to go so um, yeah like it says even on the tech plugin site on the rally please familiarize yourself with the guidebook or something close to that yeah i, I think there's definitely more speed to be carried to corners and whatnot but i'm taking it really really carefully here This guy is fast. This guy is not. But uh, yeah, second fastest of the fiests, so that's good. 
and we are just behind only still on the Fiat class. Twenty-five percent. That's a lot, and it's still nowhere to the <laughs> tires, none whatsoever. Fuck! I can't remember which stage this was. Hope it's something nice. Oh yeah, it's this one. Right. This is a fun, fun stage. Well, maybe not with this car, but generally it is. Because this one tends to be a tad slow. It just bogs down at the side of an uphill. Power! Unleashing all the 55 horsepower that this car has. Mini power. Yeah, this is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant car. That was quite on the limit. I kind of want to try some time that if that could have been taken flat out without that small lift, but that is for another day. through here because again don't know how the gravel behaves on this stage so I need to take it really really carefully and we are through now we made further than four stages this is the new record for no pace no pace notes uh, Rally. Oh damn, that sucks. Well, it kind of doesn't because you are faster than me, so now I have a chance as well. But uh, but yeah, still. <laughs> Only 
Oh, hello, Voitin and, and Joao. And I uh, only extend his lead up to six seconds now. But yeah, but I'm using the same setup and I'm going way slower. So this <laughs> it can't be the setup, and that hurts kind of. Last, sorry, not last. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Mm, yeah, that sounds interesting. Although me, myself, I'm more of a long rally type of guy because uh, my pace isn't good enough for sports short sprints. And if I try to push like with proper pace on those short sprints, I usually go off. So uh, yeah, I'm more of this uh, slow and steady type of driver for these uh, longer rallies. Kolme, kaks, six, aja. Flashbacks. This is the place where I crashed. Instead of going crest and to the left, I went crest and just and straight into the rocks, killing my EW Golf.
And that went through. I think finally the flashbacks from this stage can be forgotten. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, we're halfway through the first leg. And that is that is nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah! First, first uh, stage win in class. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, apparently there was some issue there with the hunter and uh, for some as well. Still slightly behind on to here. Two point two seconds. Well, but like I said, uh, this is just the first first uh, leg of the rally. Taking it slow, taking it steady, just making sure to get through, and that's all that matters now. Especially here, with the, the dark conditions. Now I'll drive really carefully. Follow me. Cox. Big. Especially if I can't really remember the stage either. Especially in this direction. There's a corner coming, I know it's... Oh, there it is, but I couldn't see it. Yeah, I'm going full halo now. Cautious as fuck. Safely through once again. And yeah, really taking it cautiously over here. <laughs> yeah. A clever man would have watched from the 
distance meter on the first one that at what point do you need to start breaking and then apply it here as well but uh, I'm not a smart man so uh, therefore I didn't do it oh the dreadful waiting for response screen as we are third third fastest in class in here and sixth fastest overall really cautiously and losing more to Onze, but let's not get uh, intimidated by that. There's a long way to go. <laughs> and uh, now this one is going to be interesting now. Earlier on it was dry, now it is wet. It is the same. Coleman. Stage. Hiya. And yet the same tires as well. And these tires are like the most durable thing ever, it seems. Still nowhere whatsoever. Cautiousness Kingdom. I don't know why it is like that just on this stage. On other stages, the gravel just feels fine. Really, really slippy out there. It feels constantly that the car is trying to escape from me. So, yeah, that's not nice.
and we are through felt way better on this one. Yeah. I'd get something like used T300 or used G29 in that price range, really. We are not that far off world record in class here, surprisingly, considering this is like the slowest car in group 2, so uh, yeah, it's a bit surprising. I have no idea how somebody is going that fast in here. Really drives well. And we are 11 seconds off on top, or 11 and a half. So not much. <coughs> Out of nowhere, seventy-six percent body damage. <laughs> oh boy! Three more. Then we are through the first. First. Uh leg. This is spooky spooky stage as well. Follow me. Yeah, ah. it was going so fast. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, let's not mention one at all on the countdown, thank you. a lot more logical than on the previous one. Just cautiously because we have no idea where the car is going to bounce from that. Sexful joke hidden in there. Now for the dreaded gravel path. We are through. <laughs> I 
Did you suffer rear wing damage, huh? Oh, Onza was flying in here. Oh damn, that's weird. I have never come across that. Twenty three seconds of Onza. Yeah, of course, now I get gearbox damage when we can't repair it. Two more. Two more. And uh, luckily these two are really fun stages. So uh, we should be somewhat safe in here. But uh, of course we need to try our best. Molome, Cox, Pig. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like it how small this is, you can just drive through the chicanes. Maybe a bit too deep in this one, compromising the line quite a bit. That's why I tell how to do it. <laughs> yeah, just watch me spin like hell later on. On this one. sensible line through there now this time around
power. I think that this would be even better stream if I would have like a big ass. Well, yeah, if I would have a big ass, that would be fun. But a big ass steering wheel that's made of wood, like 400 millimeters or something. This is 330, this one. Just for reference, that would be amazing. And then some leather gloves to drive it with. <laughs> that would be brilliant. doesn't get much more pathetic than that. Turn please. Thank you. And we're through just over the five minute mark. But we are through. That's what matters the most. And that means that we have one more stage to go. One more. <laughs> no, you got roasted way before. <laughs> On the first lap already. It's still not being the fastest here. Shit. Yeah, you can tell that this one was quite early on. <laughs> but yeah, Poitin, you had a ton of damage in the car. Some, what was it like? Differential issues or something. Oh, that was my actual hair, not the loose hair. So, yeah, understandably a bit slowed through there. Yeah, in interesting looking battle between these two, just 20 seconds apart. No, both are really, really fast. And, uh, yeah, then I think this, or even the three, four, five, six, all of us could be in for a treat of a battle for second leg. Yeah, still not fixing. But yeah, you can definitely see that my suboptimal lines from the first lap was uh, influencing my time quite a bit. Made me a bit slower. <laughs> On that one. final stage of this uh, first leg beautiful beautiful Slovakia ring stage made by uh, Miro Kurek absolutely absolutely love this one call me Cox Six. Aya.
Oh, stop being such a pussy. You know the stage. Yeah, please be a bit more of a pussy after all. I'm surprised that they caught it in chunk there. This is a bit more fun stage with a faster car, I'll have to admit. But I'm not saying that this is boring this way either. Even more fun with like an R5 or something.
Yeah, I didn't remember that it turned that way. through first leg done. <laughs> if I didn't have all these cameras, I could have wanked on the straights. Thanks for attending. And uh, yeah, it's long, long rally. You never know what's going to happen there. Thanks. And uh, yeah, fastest feet through there, quite comfortably. And we are leading Onza with eight and a half second gap ahead of Onza before leg two. And yeah, that's that, that's gonna be some uh, character building leg, and also like a, well, yeah, obviously a tricky one. More about who knows the stages. Well, I know because I've created the whole rally, but you know, I'm not gonna practice them or anything, just like with here. And uh, yeah, that is all for now. We are through oil pump <laughs> giving a shit. But yeah, all good now. Life is good. And uh, yeah, I'll try to get them to be shared by tomorrow, the setups for leg two for each car. So uh, yeah, don't know if it's going to be early on or late in the day, but I'll try to get them done tomorrow. And uh, I hope to see you guys for my run on street stream again for leg two on Sunday. Probably going to do it a bit later or maybe they're not. Don't know. Everything is still open. But uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I'll see you later on tomorrow with another video. And yeah, that's going to be the video with where I'm going to be battling one-on-one -on -one against Nikolai Griasin on uh, Richard Burns Rally. That's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> You'll never know what I'm writing here. But I'm writing here.
gonna be a secret forever until someone goes on the tech side and watches it. <laughs>